Many people are attracted to spirituality and non-duality and seek a spiritual awakening because they are trying to escape something. They are trying to escape trauma. And when they get in, into the midst of spirituality, self-inquiry, non-duality, they realize that actually, no, I can't escape anything. Really, the whole purpose here is to go all in. And so there are many harsh truths that you come by. That you can't escape this particular trauma you've been experiencing or this particular memory or these particular emotions. And so I'll say this to be as blunt and as straightforward as possible. The only way out of suffering is to go all in. The only way out is in. And what I mean by that is not to increase the suffering, is to go all in and stop running. Just stop running. It keeps coming up because it demands the reconciliation. It demands to be solved or dissolved. It demands that the lesson from that suffering or the memory that keeps coming up is learned. The only way out is in. You go all in. Next time you feel that fear, the anxiety, this past trauma, these memories, they come up. Relive them fully. Be there. And see if you can find just a sprinkle of appreciation and create space for an understanding as to why these memories are so vibrant and keep coming up. The only way out is in. The more you run away, the stronger these memories actually get. It's almost that resistance fuels them. And it makes sense in some way. And I've mentioned this analogy before, but if you have a river that flows, if you resist the flow of the river, <clears throat> what you end up getting is you are building a reservoir. So it all starts to accumulate. And so you basically have more of that which you are trying to resist, build up anyway. So allow the river to flow. If there's the feeling of emotion, can we just be there and observe it? If there's the intense bubbling up of these memories and these traumas, and if you are going through this, it's very unique to your circumstances, and the mind will come up with many different justifications as to this guy speaking, Hassan doesn't understand what I've been through. It's so easy for him to speak about this. And when others try to help you, it's the same thing. It's so easy for them to speak about this. They just don't get it. Well, either way, the best person to get it regardless is yourself. It's showing up within you so that it may be understood. These traumas and these memories and these emotions, they're not coming up just so that you can go through hell and suffer. The purpose isn't the suffering itself. The suffering is there so that it may be reconciled with, so that it may be understood and once that is understood, sure, you may experience another form of suffering. 
And that too will demand its understanding. And that's okay. Really, it's okay. And so if you find yourself running away and you are honest enough to admit that you're trying to run away and escape, and running away doesn't necessarily mean physically running away from this danger or this memory. It may simply be that you are planning or arranging certain things in life where when you take part of them in them, they release a large amount of dopamine so that it momentarily distracts you away. It could be taking part in certain activities, drinking, doing drugs, certain addictions, overeating. There are many different forms of escapes. It could just be simple socializing, reaching out to people. And this is very apparent when you realize that you have the inability to be alone. Because when you are alone, whatever it is that keeps resurfacing that you are trying to resist and run away from will be most vibrant. There is no noise blocking it out. And so in essence, we are happy to constantly be distracted or to be entangled by whatever the experience displays. And there's nothing wrong with what I mentioned that people that you may use to distract yourself away, to be in that momentary yet short-lived happiness, to distract yourself away. There's nothing wrong with that. But in the end, it's untruthful because you are lying to yourself. There's something that's knocking on your door and you're not willing to open it. I cannot be more straightforward than this. Find the courage to just be there with it once and for all. The mind will come up all sorts of justifications as to why you shouldn't. Don't open that door. You don't know what you may find behind this door. What if this happens? What if that happens? You are intelligent. But perhaps this intelligence isn't being put to the best use, right? The way out is to go all in. Observe that memory, be there, relive it, understand it. Look at all the blame, where are you putting the blame? On yourself, on other people, on circumstances, on life, on God? Who or what are you putting the blame on? Why put the blame on anything? How does that help with anything? Okay, we found the reason. This intelligent mind has sifted through all the different causes and we found the reason as to why this particular trauma or memory or this emotion keeps coming up. Has that solved anything? Does it need a blame? If you find yourself constantly running away and you've mustered up the courage to just go all in and observe, but all of a sudden, <laughs> nothing is bubbling up, nothing is resurfacing then so be it. Because 
it will bubble up and resurface in the times you least want it to come up. <clears throat> Be in a place where you are looking forward to moments like this. Because when you are looking forward to moments like this, it's because yes, there's another aspect or another place of darkness within me that <clears throat> I could shed more light on. And in the end, it will be okay. I can promise you that. Just be there. Be there holistically, <clears throat> not partially. Be there fully and not divided. Have the undivided attention to just observe and see what it is that you are fearing so much. What is it that you're really want running away from? Open up that little box or just pick up that carpet. You've been mopping a lot of memories and stuff underneath that you now keep tripping over every time you walk around. So I believe in you, I believe that you have the courage to face these fears, to face this trauma. When you are facing it, in the midst of it, find just a tiny sprinkle of appreciation as to why you are experiencing this, as to why you may have experienced it in the past. But we are here now, can we find just a sprinkle of appreciation, which subsequently can take us to a place of understanding? And accept it, be okay, be okay with it. You may not have a preference to it, you may not agree with it, but agreements and disagreements and preferences and opinions, what have they done for us thus far? But cause more suffering. Acceptance means that we are allowing it to be, allow it to play itself, allowing the river to flow as it's always been flowing. Thank you so much for watching. This is Hassan from The Spiritual Walks and we are all on a journey towards the truth.